Estonia is in my artwork quite often. I've done many paintings that depict the Estonian flag, but also the, the more specific legend of Kalevi Poig. And I've frequently chosen the colors of the Estonian flag, black, white, and blue, for patriotic reasons or for um, cultural and political reasons in certain passages of, passages of my paintings. And every time I paint the sphere, the sphere of perfection, that globe that appears so frequently in my art, that is an homage to my mother because she was one of the Idla girls, an Estonian dance troupe that practiced in Sweden after, the, after World War II. And there's, there, I have these great photos of my mother with other members of the Idla girls gymnastic troupe levitating balls up in the air. I mean, they're throwing the balls in there, but in these very surreal and interesting, intricate photographs, they appear to be levitating magically these balls. It's very metaphysical. I make drawings and collages, mostly when I'm personally in Rome, Italy. I have two apartments in Rome. One is in Campo di Fiori, the other is in Piazza Vittorio, near the train station. In Piazza Vittorio, I bought an apartment, a very big one, where I play piano and compose music. In Campo di Fiori, in Via del Pellegrino, I have a smaller apartment where I have a room dedicated to making drawings, making collages, doing some business, and supervising Kustabi world by internet and telephone. And I spend many hours manipulating my stock images, if you will, of Kustabi figures in certain poses, and my props, like Kustabi iconography, like cash registers, plungers, which are used to unclog the toilets of the modern mind, pointed hats, which could be interpreted as dunce caps, witch hats, or party hats, but I like to think of them as antennas for, for wisdom. And the abacus, which is a recent Kustabi icon, because I just love the form of those, those um, beads on the dowels within the abacus, this idea of primitive calculation. I mean, we aren't really that much more advanced with uh, integrated circuitry and the internet and supercomputers. I mean, it all goes back to one plus one equals two on the abacus. And I like that beautiful kind of primal calculator, the abacus. So it appears a lot in my recent paintings. And I have I drew an abacus based on a photograph I found in Google through the internet. I simplified it and made a Kustabi abacus and then I Xeroxed it in various different sizes. And I used that to collage into my collages, which then I send to my assistants in New York via Federal Express or the internet email so that they paint. And I write intricate instructions. And then my office assistants send me progress shots every day for me to supervise the production. I'm very uh, quality control oriented, on, I micromanage, and if I see something that's not going the right way, I will immediately send an email to my assistants asking them to correct the painting. And this works really well because the result is I produce 1,000 paintings a year, and they're very popular. People pay lots of money for them. I sell them all the time, especially in Italy, the country I'm in love with, and the country that apparently seems to be in love with me, so it's a big love story.
Cat Painting is a game show where art critics compete to title Kastabi paintings for cash awards. And today we have with us Walter Robinson. <laughs> Editor of Artnet Magazine. Uh, the poet and art critic Ilka Scobie. Yay, Ilka! And, uh, and the author of 750 standard painting titles, the great painter, self-proclaimed titling genius, John Zinzer. <laughs> so. And let's immediate, immediately get down to the business at hand, because we're going to have an art history bonus question. Not to identify this obvious homage to Oscar Blumner, but we want to know why Oscar Blumner had a falling out with Alfred Stieglitz, thus damaging his career. Could Do you know have, why? Could it have been over a woman? I'm, I'm guessing. Like George O'Keefe, maybe? Somebody. Well, Heidi's doing the research right now. If she comes back with that information, you're getting the 20 Blumner bucks. Blumner was okay. famously difficult. But that, I, don't, I don't know exactly no. what the dispute was. With See, Stieglitz. nobody knows. But he was famously, he was cranky and cantankerous. <laughs> and I think he was devoted to his life, uh, to his wife, for his entire <laughs> life. And after she died, he was really upset. And some of that feeling was in that last, that last is in that painting, Death. I think. And you're not just making this stuff up, right? No, we actually did a story on Bloomner. <laughs> okay, then you have to be awarded for basically knowing the answer to the question. <laughs> Now notice in this Bloomner homage, there's a giant spear of perfection, obviously inspired by which dance troupe from Idla. Sweden? Idla Girl goes <laughs> to uh, oh, wow. oh, man. <laughs> All right, let's title this painting. There's the spear, the golden spear of perfection from the Idla Girls Dance Gymnastic Troupe. Mm. Sweden, immediately after World War II. They're still around, though. John Zinser, do you have a title? How about A New Cherub in Town? <laughs> Very amusing. Yeah, Ilka. The Devil Goes to the Balkans. Interesting. Wow. Yeah. Walter, your colleagues are inspired. The, the fleeing green-hatted figure. This is like a dream. A lot of us have nightmares of a giant ball chasing us. How about a nightmare of the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade? <laughs> <laughs> That's appropriate. <laughs> Okay, we have three great titles now. Yeah. I, I'm very curious to know what Simon wants to say. Oh, you, can, you can interlope now. Uh, uh, desperately seeking myself. Oh, that's good too? That's okay. nice. It's good. Ilka Scobie likes it. Okay, let's vote. Like desperately seeking myself. It's I memorable. Like that that one. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to have to pay Simon. I think that's right. <laughs> I don't think uh, any of us, you know, who can watch this video or movie or whatever you're watching in this statement, if you're able to watch this, you can't complain because it's just great to be alive and uh, you are a winner because you've made it this far and now it's, let's just continue creating and building beautiful things onward and upward and celebrate art, culture, literary expression and, and love.